I wake up, the first thing in the morning I do is reach for this. I go to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I'm smoking on this until I put the toothbrush in my mouth. I'm on the toilet. Guess what? I'm smoking this whilst on the toilet. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss a helpful videos that are going to help you. Today's helpful video is on addiction and it's coming up right after this. Ostracized from a cruel society just because I suffer from a little anxiety. Please help me. I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety. In this video, we are going to be talking about this. This is a Juul device and I'm going to be talking about my personal experience using the Juul device and smoking the Juul pods for the past two years. If any of you watching this video smoke a dual device, I want you to comment in the comment section down below right now. From the age of 17 to 23, I smoked regular cigarettes. I would smoke around one pack a day, which is roughly around 20 cigarettes a day. And when I was 23, I decided enough is enough no more. My teeth were starting to become stained. I started to smell really, really badly. My hands started to go a little bit yellow and I was very, very worried about my health. So I started researching online how to give up smoking, how to quit smoking, the best way to stop smoking altogether. And many of the articles that I read talked about getting nicotine gum that you can chew whenever you felt like having a cigarette. So I tried that. If you've never tried nicotine gum before in your life, please never, ever try it because it tastes disgusting. It literally, and I mean it literally, tastes like cigarette ash. It's horrible. Just do not try it. So then I decided to try nicotine patches. And for those of you that don't know what a nicotine patch is, it's just a patch that has nicotine in it and you put it on your skin and the patch releases nicotine into your system throughout the day. So I tried this. I bought some nicotine patches. I put them on my arm here. And after two hours of having a nicotine patch on my arm, my arm started to feel really, really weird. It started to sting a little bit. I wouldn't say that it hurt, but it stung a little bit. And when I took the patch off, my arm was red and it felt really, really warm. Obviously, my skin didn't like whatever was in the nicotine patch, whether it was the nicotine or some other chemicals that are in the patch. My skin did not like it. So I decided, forget about the nicotine patches. They don't work for me. If it's gonna make my skin all red, itchy, make me feel horrible, there's no point. So then I saw online about vaping and how it's this amazing thing that can help you stop smoking. And I thought, oh, 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 this looks good. So I thought, eh, what the heck? May as well try it. It's worth a go. I've already tried the nicotine gum and the patches. So I may as well give this vaping a go to see if it works and helps me stop smoking because that's why I'm doing all of this in the first place is to stop smoking not to carry on smoking but to stop smoking altogether so I headed off to my local smoke and vaping shop and they advised me to buy what's known as a smock device which is where you put batteries in there's a tank you buy liquid and you put the liquid in the tank, then you press a button on the side, you inhale and smoke comes out. At first, I really, really liked the smock device. I thought it was fantastic. But the problem was, I was inhaling so much that so much smoke was coming out. Literally, if I smoked it right now, you wouldn't be able to see me from the amount of smoke that was coming out my nostrils and my mouth. It was just way too much. And the other problem with it was people's smock devices and these vape devices that you have to put batteries into were exploding. And that really worried me. I saw some reports of the devices blowing up on planes because of the batteries in them. And I thought, yeah, don't want to do this anymore. I don't fancy my face being blown off or blown up 
due to a battery explosion. So I was back to square one again. I was researching on the internet about how to stop smoking. What's the best vaping device I can use? Until I came across the Juul official website. And I believe their slogan is something like a device for smokers to stop smoking. It's something like that. I can't remember the exact words they use or their exact slogan, but I believe it's something like that. The alternative for smokers, something along those lines. So I thought, this looks fantastic. I did reviews on it. I saw a couple of YouTubers smoking it in their videos and I was like, wow, okay. This looks fantastic. It's not a great big chunky machine that I have to carry around. It doesn't blow so much smoke that I can't see. And it doesn't rely on batteries. So it's not gonna blow up in my face. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. Just like I've given everything else a go before. So I ordered my dual device and it came. And at first I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Now the benefits for the dual device for me, it doesn't make me smell. It doesn't make my beard smell of smoke. It doesn't make my hair or clothes smell of smoke. I could smoke it anywhere. I could smoke it in my room, driving in my car. I could smoke it on the toilet if I really wanted to, which I will get to later on in this video about smoking my dual device whilst I'm in the toilet. It really, really helped me at first because by this stage, I was not smoking any cigarettes at all. I was completely reliant and dependent on this, which at the beginning I thought was fantastic because the main goal was for me to stop smoking. And this helped me achieve it. Or so I thought. After about six months of being on this, I realized a couple of things. The first thing was, I was actually spending more money using a dual device than I was if I was smoking. Now that's crazy, right? I've stopped smoking, which is a fantastic thing, stopped smoking regular cigarettes. I've come over to a dual device, but I'm actually spending a lot more money. As you already know, from the beginning of the video, I said I was smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So a pack of cigarettes a day would cost me about $6. When you buy the dual pods, they come in a pack just like this, where there's four pods in them. I was going through two pods, two of these things, a day, per day. Two of these tiny, small pods a day. Now a pack of these was costing me close to $20 every two days. So the smoking in two days was costing me $12 and these was costing me $20. So I'm actually losing $8 from switching over to this dual device. The second thing I noticed was my fitness was rapidly declining. Before I could run for about 30 minutes a day. No problem. This was whilst I was still smoking. No problem. I could run for 30 minutes without having to stop. After six months of using this, still doing the same amount of exercise, still doing the same things I used to do, I could now only run for about 10 minutes. Now, whether or not this is linked to that, I don't know. But the only thing that changed during those months from being able to run 30 minutes a day to only 10 minutes a day was me stopping the smoking and moving to this. Whether or not it's related, that's up for debate. I also started to get pains when I started to breathe sometimes. I would get cramps in the side of my body here that felt like it was my lungs. I couldn't breathe properly and I would hunch over and hold my side like this until the cramps went away. It's not a nice experience. And if anybody who smokes dual devices and pods out there, have you ever had that pain before? It's like a crippling cramp pain in the side of your body that feels like it's coming from your lungs. It's hard for you to breathe and stand up straight. Have you had that before? I want you to let me know in the comment section down below because I've researched online and it seems to be just me that has that. Two years after starting using my dual device, I would say I am completely addicted to using this, but I've stopped smoking cigarettes. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? I suppose if you wanted to stop the cigarettes, 
then yes, that's a good thing. And that is what I wanted to stop doing in the first place. Stop smoking the cigarettes. But I also wanted to stop smoking altogether, which clearly hasn't been the case because I'm so reliant on this now. I can smoke it anywhere, like we've already spoken about. Whilst I'm editing my YouTube videos or doing work on the computer, I'm constantly puffing away on it. When I'm in bed, about to go to sleep, I'm smoking on it until my eyes are closed and I'm in a deep sleep. I wake up. The first thing in the morning I do is reach for this. I go to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I'm smoking on this until I put the toothbrush in my mouth. I'm on the toilet. Guess what? I'm smoking this whilst on the toilet. I am completely and utterly reliant on this device currently. So I started doing some research because recently, over the past eight, 10 months, a lot of the news has been talking about the company Juul and how dangerous they are and how many teenagers have ended up in hospital due to vaping as it's down to a mystery lung disease. And unfortunately, some people have actually died from this. So I started doing some research and did you know that in one of these little tiny pods, there is 5% nicotine which is twice as much nicotine than other vaping products. And we all know just how addictive nicotine is. So by smoking one of these pods, you are actually becoming even more addicted to nicotine. So since I have moved over from regular cigarettes to dual device and dual pods, I've become more addicted to nicotine, which is why I'm always craving it and why I'm always smoking this. Jewel pods come in many different flavors, including Cool Mint, which is what I smoke, menthol, classic tobacco, Virginia tobacco, mango, and creme brulee. I think they also do a fruit flavor too. But all of these flavors will not be around for much longer, especially here in the United States. Because as of three days ago, Juul stopped selling the mint flavor pods, which are the ones I smoke. And not only me, according to figures, 70% of Juul pod sales in the United States are this flavor the mint flavor. The flavors that Juul sell in their pods are one of the many reasons why teenagers love Juul. But I personally expect Juul to cut all flavors in the future and only sell tobacco flavor pods. Which me personally, I hate the flavor of tobacco. Ugh. I have tried many different things to quit this. I actually went back to real cigarettes for a couple of days and I didn't like it. I was still craving this. That's absolutely crazy how I went back to real cigarettes, but I was still craving this. And it's because of the nicotine levels from a regular cigarette. I am not getting enough nicotine that my body is craving, that my body is addicted to, unlike this. So when I smoke this, I feel satisfied. My cravings are gone for a short period of time. With a real cigarette, that's not the case. I have tried chewing gum throughout the day. I have tried eating chips throughout the day. Nothing works. And I know from research, millions of other people who smoke dual pods too have the same problem. They are utterly reliant and dependent on this just like me. So that's my personal experience using dual devices and smoking dual pods. If you're watching this video because you're interested in maybe starting vaping or using the dual device and smoking their pods, my advice to you would be, please do not start. Nicotine is a highly addictive chemical. And once you're addicted to nicotine, it's one of the hardest things to stop doing or stop using. So please, if you haven't already, do not start. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. Can you relate to my story? Do you personally use dual devices yourself? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health for more videos like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.